So my off-brand shitty humored Steam videos have been doing really, really well lately, and I don't think it's any secret that I will do anything for a few views. So if you go on Steam and you click on the store tab and you hover over the game's drop-down menu, you can see 10 genres of game. Now a lot of really degenerative, closed-minded individuals think that there's only 10 categories of game. There are much more than 10, and you can't really wrap your head around how many there really are. So if you click see popular tags, it'll bring you to this page where you can see every single genre that Steam offers. Now these games vary from casual, to nudity, to sexual content, to fantasy with probably sexual content. It's like a win-win, honestly. But if you scroll all the way down in this list that doesn't need to be this long, you will come across the pinnacle of what every single Steam game should be. My name is PewDiePie, you're watching Drama Alert, and this is the meme games category on Steam. So this category on Steam is something that a lot of people don't know about, and I actually stumbled across it accidentally myself, but as you guys know by my recent videos, I really do enjoy playing these smaller titles. So this category is the pinnacle of everything that I stand for. Now, not every game in this category is going to be absolutely terrible. Some of them are fairly high budget, they just have a lot of jokes in them, such as Borderlands 2, Undertale, and Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. So I'm going to find five games, and I'm going to download them, and we're going to play them, and we're really going to get a feel for how the meme games on Steam actually work. From what I hear, you can just pay to have anything put on Steam nowadays since they did away with Greenlight, so this should be a really interesting video. Let's get started. So the first game I decided to go with is called Spaghetti, and it's a really, really cool looking... <laughs> it's not even fucking cool looking. I think all you do is slap around spaghetti in here, but it also looks like a Walmart version of Five Nights at Freddy's, so we're, we're gonna see what this has to bring. It's $1.99, let's play it. a rhythm game? What the fuck? I don't want to play this anymore. This is not... This is not okay. Baby strikes what moves. That is mine. What the heck is going on? I'm just trying to slap some spaghetti. Oh, Jesus. I have a flashlight on. How is this bear not gonna see me? <gasps> Jesus Christ! All right, let's try that again. I'm just gonna keep slapping the spaghetti. I don't even care. Fuck, fuck you. Whoever's there right now, whoever, where are you? Where are you? Okay, let's, let's, let's hide. Let's, let's, I don't understand what's going on here. Gotta hide from the spaghetti bear. He can't see me because I'm under here. What is over here? Got some drawers, got some wine. Got some whores. So with this game Spaghetti, all you're really doing is slapping this plate of spaghetti and trying to avoid the weird Five Nights at Freddy's bears. I wouldn't say it's a bad game, but there's really not much to it. I also couldn't really figure out how not to just die instantly, so I ended up just jumping over the counter to the bear and letting him slip my throat. Part of the reason I'm so bad at this game though, maybe because I didn't read through the tutorial at all, I just kind of clicked until it let me keep slapping the spaghetti. So the way that the core game mechanics works are pretty simple. The more you slap the spaghetti, the hotter it stays for whatever reason, and if the spaghetti gets cold, you lose. Also, if you get killed by the weird animal creatures that come and try and steal your spaghetti, uh, you die. So there really isn't a good way to, to win this game. I mean, it's, it's a lose-lose. You're either slapping spaghetti uh, or you're dying. Do I think it's a bad game? No, but I also don't really think it's a good game. If slapping spaghetti is your thing, I think you'll really, really enjoy this experience. Uh, pretty much all you do is slap spaghetti. Let's move on. So the next game that I got is called Kill the Emoji, and it looks like it's kind of like a Call of Duty Zombies with emojis. If you want it right now, you can pick it up for a nice cool 179 because it's on sale uh, until June 11th. My final thoughts before going into this game is that it's gonna be a banger just because Steam let them put this actual emoji in the title of their game and it looks totally badass. So it's pretty much standard at this point that if I don't have an issue with a game that I'm playing, I don't really record much live commentary. So most of this is just gonna be a voiceover of my opinion of the game. So I hope you guys can deal with that and not get too salty with me for being too overbearing and over critical of the fucking games you guys are dicks So when you open the game, you pick your level and it hops you into an open arena and pretty much all you do is shoot these different emoji faces 
and when you shoot them, they explode into like 30 pieces. It's actually kind of morbid. The game doesn't really have any bugs, and the more emojis you kill, the harder the game actually gets, which is pretty cool. It gives you a nice sense of progression. However, this is really all you get. Now, they say you get what you pay for, and I'm a true believer in that, and this game isn't absolutely horrible, but it's definitely not very good either. If you're looking for some kind of compelling story, you're absolutely not going to get that here, but the Emoji Killer game is a pretty decent time waster, I'm not even going to lie. The different maps that the game does have available as you kill more emojis does actually add some variety to the game, but it really doesn't change the fact that it does get pretty tedious after about 20 minutes of playing. But realistically, this game costs less than two bucks, so you're absolutely getting what you paid for. The gameplay is pretty optimized to work on lower end computers as well, so if you really are strapped for cash and you're just looking for a time waster, this might actually be a game worth picking up. It's really not that bad. Also, you get an achievement for almost every single emoji that you kill, so there's that. Overall, it's a cool concept, it's executed pretty well, and if you're into these arena type shooter games, you may actually find some joy in this. So if this video was not bad enough already, it's about to get even shittier. And I mean that in the literal sense. The next two games that we have lined up are both poop related games, and I really don't know how that happened, but it did. So we're gonna be taking a look at Nico Muse Potty Trouble. So by the looks of these screenshots, we got Furry Face Johnson here, and we gotta bring him to the bathroom to leak the lizard. And to get there, it looks like we have to run through some more Walmart Five Nights at Freddy's monsters. It comes in at $3.99. It was most likely a waste of money. I'm not excited for this. I'm gonna be like completely honest with you guys my name is boob farts 3 and furries make me uncomfortable i'm not even gonna pretend that they don't like i'm actually already on edge just because this is a furry game but i can't really complain too much so far the graphics actually seem pretty good it seems that there's a weird chicken floating in the sky trying to tell me where to go i'm a furry bitch i know where to go i know what my plan in life is bro i don't need you to tell me to come with you you stop it Stop it right now! And then it was all a dream. Ha ha ha. But now I gotta take a leak. Oh my god, he's shaking like a furry. Bro, I hate this game, bro. So it looks like the longer we wait, the more we fill up with pee. In fact, I used to think that when I ate vegetables, that's how they filled up my body. And I used to think that when I was full, this line would be up at my neck. I didn't think I had any internal organs. I thought that the food just stored in my feet and went all the way up. Pretty great. I got 12 years worth of pee. What the fuck is that? I just got jump scared by a goddamn pigeon, bro. But it don't matter. There's a toy. That's a dirty toilet, bro. Don't even. No, don't sit on that. That's dirty, bro. Damn, bro. Look at that walking animation, bro. He heading for it. He checking it out. He gonna stop in the middle of the street. I called that one. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, I hear a noise at night. Oh my god. What the fuck? What is this, bro? This is like disturbing. I was just about to talk about how I liked this game, but like, I don't know now, bro. Why is he so thick? That's the thickest wolf I've ever seen, dude. I, c I can't handle this, man. So Nico Mew's Potty Trouble, honestly, I thought that this would be the weirdest game on the list, but it's actually probably gonna end up being one of the best, which is really weird to say. <clears throat> like, I'm really not into furry shit at all, and this game is really weird for sure, but honestly, the gameplay is really solid, the art style is pretty decent, and I actually did not have a bad time playing this. It's really not a hard game to learn at all, and the villains actually look pretty unique in this game, and I really honestly had a good time playing it. I was kind of shook that I paid $4 for this game, but honestly, that seems like kind of a bargain. I feel like it's more worth $5, you know? Anyways, guys, I'm not gonna bore you with the details. Let's just move on to the next game in the list. I know I said I was gonna do five games, but this video is already getting pretty long as it is, and uh, this looks like a really good ending point. This game is called Where's My Mommy, and it actually takes place inside of a human ass. This game was $6, but it absolutely looks like it's gonna be worth it. As you can see, it looks like there's dead hamsters and shit in this dude's butt, so I'm really excited to, uh, to play this game. It, it really looks like it's my speed. Poopy was living happily with his mother in a dark and moist place that was their home. Then, one pink night, a violent and unexpected earthquake ejected Poopy's mother from their nest, leaving the little child the alone fuck? and terrified. I will save you, mother! And so, with all his courage, Poopy began a dangerous journey to save his mother's life. Even though he knew that not a living soul had ever returned from the other side of the dark tunnel. That was a butthole. That's a butthole I'm looking at. I just got put in a butthole. So it looks like we got Tell Me About Your Mother, Endless Poopy Storm, and Sadist Mode, bro. Let's go with Tell Me About Your Mother. Bro, is that herpes? 
Did I just pop a herpes bubble? What's going on? So this game is gross, okay? There's no there's no other way to put it. This game is pretty gross. So Where's My Mommy ended up being an endless runner where you literally run through a guy's intestines and try not to get yourself killed. Now, even though I didn't play the tutorial, I did end up having to go back and check it out because I wanted to see if it told me what I could and couldn't break through. And my biggest issue with this game is that it absolutely does not. Now, your poop has three different forms. You can be a liquid poop, a regular poop or a solid poop. Now you have to change this form to go through various objects in the world, but the tutorial doesn't tell you what you have to be to go through which object. So I found myself having to do like seven or eight playthroughs just to find all of the objects and figure out what I could do to get through them all. If you touch anything and you're not in the right state of poop, you actually die and you have to completely restart. It tells you what you should have been, but it doesn't tell you what you should have been until it was already too late. So you pretty much have to trial and error your way through the game. And I found that extremely aggravating and the beginning of the game got pretty tedious pretty quick because it's pretty much the same obstacles all the way through. I really hate the irony of calling this game a polished turd, but how the gameplay handled really does make it seem like it was the highest budget game on this list. You can definitely tell that there was a lot of time and effort put into making this game. However, I really don't see why. Part of this opinion may come from the fact that I couldn't really make it past the first level because I'm absolutely atrocious at runner games. But at the same time, I feel like this kind of game should not have a $6 price tag on it. This game seems like the kind of thing that you'd pay a dollar or two for on the app store and have fun with it for a couple hours while you're waiting for your plane to arrive. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm bored and I personally want a time-wasting game, I really don't find that the first thing I think about doing is swimming through someone's asshole trying to save my giant shit mother. I don't think this is the worst game in the world, but I definitely don't think it's worth it for the price. So I would maybe add it to your wish list and hope someone else buys it for you, or just wait until it goes on sale and get it for two or three bucks. It is a nice time-waster game, like I said, but it's definitely nothing to write home about. The funniest part about this game, and my personal favorite, is that when you go to quit, you just click flush. Anyways guys, four games is all the brain power that I could sacrifice for this video. I really hope that you understand that it does take a long time to make these, so I'm sorry if this video wasn't as comprehensive as you would have liked it to be. And I would also like to say that these are my personal opinions, and while I don't think that you should completely discredit them as I have actually played these games, I don't think that it should completely encourage or deter you from buying and trying these games out for yourself, because I have very specific tastes in games that I like, and you may have different ones. So guys, with that said, I will have the direct links to the meme category on Steam, linked in the description below as well as all of the games that I played throughout this video and if you guys want to check those out feel free to let me know what you think about them in the comments if you've played them yourself and also if you guys know of any other meme games that I should check out or just any weird games in general not even necessarily on Steam just anywhere along the internet please let me know because I'd really love to make a part two of this I really find these low budget indie games to be a lot of fun to play because most of them are just really ridiculous but I definitely do appreciate all the heart and all the hard work that went into making them so if you take anything away from this just take a way that I'm an asshole, okay? With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for making it to the end of the video, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Also, while you're here, you might as well subscribe because I'm the only YouTuber, just the only one on the site, so it'd be really cool if you could just join me on, on this adventure to uh, Deep Space Waifu the game. Thank you guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. We have games such as Putin Boobs and Trump.